One thing I have noticed and many others have as well, and I've been outspoken about it in some streams and some comments, is the amount of hate or banter or the only point of contention for fans to have is to have digs at players who play for rival clubs for not having good games, for holding bench and not playing, or just having bad moments, being subbed and everything else in between. Now, we're going to look at a Hamza and Mo scenario, backwards and forwards, on El Ahwa this morning. It was pretty good, I have to say. Now, to be fair, Hamza did slap up Mo a few times, but Mo also gave a few right hooks back to Hamza, so I don't think he was as one-sided as people want to make it out to be, but there is one particular instance that I do want to showcase and go through. But when a player isn't playing well, and someone says, your player hasn't been playing with what's going on. And they come, well, your player's on the bench. You shouldn't even be talking. This player's been great. This player's been this. This player's been that. Okay, but we're talking about here and now. What have they done here and now? No, don't worry about here and now. Look at your players. You're responsible for this. They're responsible for this, blah, blah, blah. Master of deflection. That's what Hamza does. And a lot of other people do it as well, yeah? A lot of other people do it as well, you know? And also, apparently, his boys are after me. They're, they're looking for little old Nick here. I mean, it's not safe in these YouTube streets, you know, but I will speak about what's on my mind, and this is no different, so we're going to mention it again, yeah? But the question on Foden's lacking Euros is what got Hamza up in arms in all this, yeah? Making it all about Jude Bellingham not being great, and I agree, Bellingham has had some stinkers. I did a video about it. It got downvoted, I'm pretty sure, but it is what it is. He had a zero shots, zero goals, zero assists, zero puts, zero, 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 zero. Nothing game, and he was still on the pitch. But he's given you two clutch moments. So he's still better overall than some players. But in a sense, he hasn't really done much. But he's been better than Foden. But then again, um, uh, Palmer has been better than Foden as well because Palmer got an assist for Ollie Watkins against Netherlands in the semi final. Foden hasn't as such. The, the quickest, the quickest, the closest he got was hitting that crossbar in the um, first half uh, against the Netherlands this morning. But, anyways. Diverting too much away from the conversation. Um, moving away from the actual discussion or the criticism about their favorite players that they that they back, yeah? And, and just to pinpoint something, because believe it or not, you can dislike somebody for the majority, but still agree with something that they say, yeah? That's how normal people you now have discussions and disagreements and agreements, yeah? So, Lee Gunner posted this. He says, international football has now been infested with mutants repping the player they're sexually attracted to at all costs. I disavow. Drops a stinker. No problem. Just waffle about a player in that position from another Premier League club holding bench. Scores a winner. World class. Mentioned player at X club is still holding bench. Gets an assist. Same as above. State of football, social media, born in deficit, born buffering. But this is the same man who also says stinker. Kane world-class stinker and hooked Spursy. Trippier stinker and hooked at halftime. Either team has slept. Saka, world-class stinker and hooked. So, I mean, arguably, they some of them play for his team, yeah? I mean, Saka plays for Arsenal. He also had an, um, uh, Diaz in the Cop America, hooked and stinker. Talking about Darwin Nunez with his um, fight with the uh, Colombian fans. Did a video on that previously. Check that out. Um, making fun of rice and shit like that. So, same person. But, again, I don't disagree with here. I think there is a case to be said here because I do say it a lot and it's frustrating. And I said this also in this here, which we're going to look at, this video here, but I said, this player plays for X club agenda is crusty, but what else do these fans have when their players aren't in the mix? They have to talk about others and for the club they play for. Hamza Foden had a poor game once again. What's your take on Phil Foden's poor game? Oh, but Foden, look at what Dumfries did. Look, Trent's on the bench. You kind of you taught us, he, tell us he's, a, he's a, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Saka didn't do anything as well, blah, 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 blah. Bruv, talk about Foden at hand. That's ultimately what happens. It's not always with Foden, but it's a perfect example because that's what we're going to look at at the moment. Now, this was quality. I'm not going to lie to you. This was, again, sometimes these streams, they end up becoming a bit of a mess. And this one was at moments a mess. I think the 30th, 40th minute mark, it was pure chaos. But then we leveled out a little bit here. So what we're going to look at is an incident here where Hamza is deflecting from discussing Phil Foden and his performance for this England team in these Euros. 
when Mo is saying, what's wrong with Foden? Why is he not performing when he's meant to be the best player in the Premier League? You know, players, you know, player of the season and the riders and all that sort of stuff, whatever he won, yeah? Why is he not performing? And instead of talking about Phil Foden's performances, he goes on to Dumfries and De Vrij, who play for Inter Milan, which is the team that most supports. So that's Hamza's tactic. He doesn't like what you're saying about someone he supports or a team that he supports, so he goes and counters it and goes after the team that you support. Let's have a listen to this. Except all your history. And I know you're looking away. It hurts because he, it's hurting him. It's hurting him. He wants to cry. Look at who made the mistakes now. today, Hamza? Full what? stop. Who made the mistakes? Who wants who to cry? Them? Listen, Marcus. Who made the mistakes, me? Hamza? Full stop. Who made the mistakes? Tell them. But what are we doing? De Vrij and that shitty little right. De Vrij down down please. That shitty little strike right back and a bloody centre back for for typical Inter Milan. If you got Inter Milan players, you ain't going far. You can't start them to win a tournament. They're a bunch of bombs. They will let you. Akio was impressive. Van Dijk was impressive today. I'm not gonna cast Van Dijk today. I can't cast Van Dijk today. De Vrij was shit. Mind you, this is all because Mo questioned Phil Foden and all this. That's how we got here. De Vrij was crap. That that guy was crap. The only good thing he did, he cleared off the line. Yeah, but what did he do? They're useless, bro. Bro, I said it to everyone. Inter Milan are bottle jobs. What lie their players are bottle jobs. I have no respect on Inter Milan. They don't win your tournament. They get to the final. Let's remember them. Since 1982, they've been getting to the final. Yes. We're in 2024. We're in 2024. We're what does this have to do with the conversation at hand? Man's going all over the place, not discussing the conversation at hand. And people want to dunk on Mo because he supports a team. Okay, so Phil Foden misses an absolute sitter against Spain. We have every right to say Phil Foden is shit. Phil Foden does nothing for this England team. Phil Foden is a waste. He is rubbish. And watch Hamza come and say, how can you say that about the player of the Premier League season, the player of the season for Man City and everything else in between? We're not talking about the clubs. We're talking about the international stages. Where they play and who they play for is irrelevant in this conversation here. It is not needed. We're in 2024 now. Yeah, 2024, they're still there. Where are they? Where are they in 2024? Why are you mentioning 1982? Why are you mentioning 1982? We don't care about 1982. You say every final Inter Milan players have been there. So 2024, where are they? Because you're useless. Your players are useless. They don't do it for countries. They're one of the biggest failure for the countries. Biggest responsible. They're responsible for their failure. Uh... Coming in. What, is Ford what is Foden's job, Hamza? What is your players' jobs? See, we asked him to speak about Phil Foden and he's deflecting to somebody else's players just because they happen to play for the national team that lost and the club that Mo supports. This is the tactic. Tell me about your players' job. What is your players' job? What is for some egging it on as well. Where is your players' job? You question me about my players. Why didn't I question you? Yeah, why is your players' jobs of the right? Um, to be fair, though, I never actually heard Mo speak about the Vry and Dumfries as these end or be your players. Hamza speaks as though Phil Foden is God, speaks as though Kevin De Bruyne is God. When Kevin De Bruyne had a stinker for Belgium, how dare you say these things about the best player Belgium's ever had? Generational, one of the best midfielders Man City, the Premier League's ever seen. How dare you say this about. Kevin De Bruyne, he led them to third place in a World Cup and blah. Okay, so what has he done after that? Nothing. Same thing. We're, we're saying to you, speak about Phil Foden because you speak about him in a high regard. Mo doesn't like Dumfries. I don't think Mo rates De Vrij either. I don't think he even likes Marcus Turam. He cussed the shit out of him when they lost to Atletico Madrid, if you remember his watch along. Absolutely cussed the shit out of him. So why would he sit there and defend these players when he knows they have not played well? I'm gonna okay. You finished what waffling. Is, what, what did you uh, do, so here is what happened, he guys. Here is what happened. Here is what, what Hamza did. Right. What, what Hamza did is that I asked him about Foden, and he switches it to Inter Milan. There just you go. One, I'm just gonna say one thing. Even though my player is holding bench to your player, Lautaro Martinez, who I don't like, by the way, is a top scorer of Copa America. 
Yeah, so but where is he? Is he in bed with Argentina? Foden, Foden, you spoke, you spoke enough. You spoke enough. No, I didn't so speak enough. Hamza rattled on for a good few minutes. I even sent a super chat saying Hamza rattled off for minutes. No one interrupted him. Mo starts talking and he couldn't hack it straight in there because it's an uncomfortable conversation for Hamza. It is. People you speak. The you spoke you enough. And I'm what answering you. So I am answering you. I'm answering you. Uh, at the end, the best player of the Premier League in the tournament hasn't had an assist or a goal. Player of the year, of the triple winner of but the where's Premier your play? League. Lautaro, where's your I'm going to tell you. Man, I'm answering where are you. Your play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me answer yeah, you, you now. Know, let, what, me answer you. Answer let me answer, answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you now. Let me answer you. So where's let me answer play? you then. You Who fucking ask me a fucking question. Let me fucking answer you then. How many of your players are in the final? He literally, when he asked me, by the way, when he finished and asked me the question, Hamza, let me answer you. Answer you then. His players, these are his players. One second. In the dark. Where are they? Man's practical joking now. Where are they? In the dark. Where are your players? This, that, blah, blah, blah. Again, we know that they messed up, but they're not the conversation. They're not the topic. Phil Foden is the topic. Player of the tournament. Player of the, sorry, player of the season in the Premier League. Player of the year for Man City. Why is he not answering for Phil Foden's poor performances? Can you find <laughs> where in the Milan players? Where in the Milan players? Bro, Hello? Bro, it doesn't where? matter, bro. Inter I'm Milan at the end. Our striker, the where are they? Our they striker the is top scorer of Copa America, bro. I, I don't know how, how, how hard is it to understand. Player of the year in the Premier League has not scored, by the way, has not scored or assisted for the best national team in the world. He has not scored an assist. My guy on the bench, right? Even though I don't, this is the difference between me and you, Hamza, is I speak the truth. I don't lie. I don't lie. I don't rate Lautaro. But at the end, the facts are he's top scorer of the Copa America. And he he's might actually win. Copa <laughs> Who cares if he's on the bench? Look at the effect he's having, Hamza. It doesn't matter if he's on the bench. I bet you, I bet you any money. If it was Doku for Belgium on the bench, coming off the bench, getting an assist or a goal, he'd be talking like he did like an absolute madness, a 10 out of 10, yeah? Absolute madness. If Foden's on the bench and he comes off the bench and scores a, a goal that gives England the lead or gets them back in the game, that, that spurs them on to do something, you best believe we're going to speak highly about him because he's affected the game in that way. But to sit here and just blindly and, and just overtly just shit on somebody somebody else's players just because they play for for a, a club that somebody else supports and they happen to play for a national team is not it which i go back to my main point player x you have to talk shit about them because you can't face the facts about what's happening about your player like lee gunner said if uh, again we can disagree all we want with lee that's not a problem we can disagree no problems at all but he says here Drops a stinker, no problem, just waffle about a player in that position from another Premier League club holding bench or another player, all the same, which is what Hums is doing right now. He's it doesn't matter. Bench. See the difference. Have some see, I'll, I'll tell you one. Have see, I'm going to ask, see, I'm going I'm to have, I'm going to have more shame. Ahmed, Chelsea, would you rather have Phil Foden's tournament with no goals or assists or call Palmer off the bench and having an assist to, to England to, get to the a final. On the Shut final. up and let me talk. You know, let me ask other people to dunk on your head. Dunk on your bald head. He wants them in the final. And what if they do fuck all in the final? Hamza, what then? If they have another stinker. Oh, but they played a final. But they were ineffective. They did nothing. Phil Foden can start a final. Again, does nothing. Bellingham can start a final. Does nothing. They will be spoken about. He will be spoken about. But if Palmer comes off the bench and gets an assist, Palmer's done much more than what Foden had. Palmer's done much more than what Bellingham had in that final match. We don't know. It's a final. It's hard to tell. Uh, Who cares if you scored five Answer me. Would you rather have Phil Foden tournament Who cares if or Cole Palmer 10 minute cameo to win your, na your nation the game to go to the semi final? Listen. I promise you, done, my players lifting done from America, and dunked on his on head. Pitch, I'm out. I'm, I'm done. Lifting euros. My players Let him waffle euros. as much as he Where can. Where are your players? Where are your players? 
I'm going to leave it there. I'll, just, well, I'll be here all night racked into this for hours on end. But there, yeah, there you have it. Like, my players are lifting the copper and my players are lifting the euros. So it goes back to this whole tribalism bullshit. It's not really what's best for the match, uh, for the uh, for the team, for the, for, the, for the greater good. It's what's good for me as a supporter of this player because I happen to play for the club that I support. Now they want to go about that. But it's just all over the place. I hate this. We, we have, we're going to have to dunk on all these other players because they're not the player that I support and I'm just going to attack them any chance I get because that's all I have. I can't defend my player. It, all he has to do is say, yeah, Foden hasn't been the best, I mean, player of the season in, in England, but hasn't really you know, come about in the Euros. He had, a, he had a decent game, though, against Netherlands, arguably his best performance, but still nothing to show for it. Look, maybe in the final he may come up do something. That's all he has to do. He's too proud for it. Like Hassam says, he wants to win every battle. He ends up losing the war. That, that's Hamza for you. And, and Mo... I'm not going to lie, he did get a, a bit of a pasting from Hamza, but it was just unnecessary. It was unrelated to the whole conversation at hand. But there you have that. Player agendas is where you have it. Link posted down below. Check it out. Uh, the whole stream is there. It was proper Kino. Shout out to Hassam, the boys at This Is Football as well. And uh, I'll keep a lookout for the uh, for the boys, Hamza. I'll keep a lookout for them. See us. End the stream, day. End the stream, end it, blah, end it now.